The White House tonight says that the U.S. is now among the many countries racing to help after that catastrophic earthquake. The images are horrific tonight, and it is heartbreaking. The scope of the loss continues to mount after that powerful earthquake striking Turkey near the border with Syria. The worst to strike there in a century, the 7.8 quake, followed by multiple aftershocks now. Take a look at the terrifying moment this apartment building collapses hours after the initial quake. People right there running for their lives, and tonight the staggering toll. More than 3,700 lives lost and still rising. A reporter on the scene spotting a woman and her children in that haze there, rushing to help them get to safety. Near the epicenter tonight, almost total destruction. Survivors salvaging anything they can. Millions across that region now homeless tonight. The desperate search for survivors, rescuers digging through flattened buildings, often using their hands to dig. Rescue dogs at the scene, the urgent search for anyone who might be alive. There were calls for silence, to listen for survivors, and then this moment right here, a toddler pulled out alive. We have just learned that President Biden has talked with Turkey's President Erdogan and the U.S. and dozens of other countries are pledging immediate help tonight. ABC's Marcus Moore leading us off in Istanbul, and we warn you, the images are very difficult. Tonight, the most powerful earthquake to hit Turkey in 100 years, striking in the middle of the night as millions were sleeping. Video showing the moment that 7.8 magnitude quake hit. You can hear the shaking. And see power flashes. This town plunged into darkness. The danger persisting through the day. Clouds of debris billowing into the street. As this building collapses. The region rocked by at least 75 aftershocks. First responders on the scene of this collapsed building when the one next to it comes crashing down too. This reporter covering the urgent search and rescue efforts when the earth shakes again, people running for their lives. You can hear the buildings collapsing. Witnesses turning around to see this. Moments later, spotting a mother and her children racing to help them get to safety. Wait, wait, this man says, as the frantic search for survivors began before dawn. Rescuers pausing here to listen for signs of life. And glimmers of hope as first responders pull this survivor from the debris. After daybreak in Syria, west of Aleppo, rescuers lifting an injured child from the rubble. And to the north of the city, saving this toddler. Her name is Raghat. But sadly, her mother and two siblings all killed. The little girl now staying with relatives. In Turkey, rescuers pulling this man out of a tiny crevice of a collapsed building. This survivor named Hulusi comparing the quake to doomsday. <laughs> Saying a building collapsed on him and his wife. He doesn't think she survived. Across the quake zone, the death toll rising steadily throughout the day. We now know more than 3,700 people were killed. The sheer horror, rescuers recovering the body of a newborn baby. The infant's father overcome with grief, holding his baby, collapsing to his knees. <laughs> this woman named Imran, desperate for word from her daughter and her family. The bedroom was right over there, she says. And at this overwhelmed hospital, a doctor making this plea. We uh, have information that uh, hundreds of patients are still under the debris. Uh, the situation is too bad. We need urgent help. And tonight, those trapped in the debris screaming for help. Speak out loud, this man says. Help, help, a woman responds. At least 45 countries pledging support, including the United States. President Biden speaking with Turkey's President Erdogan late today, saying U.S. search and rescue teams are, quote, deploying quickly to the region. The scope of this is just unimaginable tonight. Marcus Moore with us from Istanbul, Turkey. And Marcus, I know this desperate search for survivors well underway. Uh, they will not give up. They never do. And we all expect this to uh, last for several days, this search for any potential survivors. And David, the next 24 to 48 hours will be critical. More than 5,600 buildings collapsed here in Turkey and, and in Syria, uh, trapping scores of people in the rubble with below freezing temperatures and now winter snow falling on those devastated towns and villages tonight, David. All right, Marcus Moore in Turkey. Marcus, thank you.